Hello, it's the Curvy Momager, and I'm here with today's Tequila Talk Tuesday topic. And I'll give you one guess as to what the topic may be. I look a little different, don't I? Well, yes, I do. I recently went to Detroit for a visit to see some family and met a friend for dinner. And I saw a place that was called the Extension Bar, and it intrigued me. But I wasn't able to go in because I was meeting them for dinner. And um, after dinner, we got out, it was closed, but I looked through the window, and I was amazed. Uh, so, came back home. Of course, we don't have anything like that here in Bakersfield. And I got a little bit inspired, and I just wanted to do something di different with my hair. It's getting some gray. No, scratch that. It has been gray. And, um, you yeah, know, it just felt like something different. I used to wear some extensions right before I moved here to California uh, but when I moved here nobody did them so I couldn't find anybody to put them in so I haven't done that in a while but I loved them uh, because they just added a lot of fullness to the hair and it wasn't hot and all of that so long story short the extensions here are expensive they have to pay for hair on top of what they do Some people probably know about that this is my first rodeo pretty much so I went to the beauty supply store and voila I have a Dahlia so that's the question today. First, or A, do you like this? I, I like it. It has its pros. It has its cons. One, it's too hot here, so wearing a wig is kind of uh, torturous. And um, the good things about it is easy to do. Um, another bad thing is this is something they call a lace front, and I'm not sure if I'm doing this right in the top. I mean, from a distance, it looks fine, but if you're really close up, you could probably see that you know there's a little line there. Um, and you, it's versatile. I can do a couple different hairstyles. I'm going to show you, as a matter of fact, a few of them right now. I'll be rocking this for a long time it was pretty reasonably priced I will have to say and uh, we'll see so question a as I started to say is what do you think about the new look question B is do you rock not your natural hair you know it's such a natural hair movement now how do you feel about that women that don't rock their natural hair that have extensions have weaves have wigs uh, is it, um, does it make you feel self-conscious if you go out? I was a little self-conscious today, I will admit. Because it seemed like everybody looked at me, and I did get a few compliments, looked at me, they were going straight there, right there, just to see if that line was there. But that could have been me, because I knew the line was there. I'm going to go on YouTube and try and figure out a better way to, um, I don't know, how would you say that? Install? <laughs> I guess is a better word. Um, but thanks for joining us on To Keep the Talk Tuesday. I'm not going to shoot two videos. This is the only one, so you got to see it right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you comment below on the new look and how you feel about non-natural hair. Is it something that you would do? Do you do it? Do you care? Let me know right here. Take care. Before I forget, I wanted to mention we do have the new shirts. The Basketball Moms of Bakersfield. Ladies in Bakersfield, if you want your shirt, email me, curvymomager.inquiries at gmail.com or text me or give me a call. We can get your shirt to you. We're also going to have a contest coming up soon nationwide. So all you bombers out there can win your mom one of these shirts or one of the new shirts that's coming out, the definition of a momager, in addition to a couple other cool prizes. So stay on the lookout for that. We'll be announcing it in the next week or so. Take care.